Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Decoded. I'm Lindsay Michelet with Intel. I'm joined today by Jeff McVeigh. Jeff is a vice president of our Intel Architecture Graphics and Software Group, as well as being the general manager of our visual computing software products. Welcome, Jeff. It's great to have you. Thanks, Lindsay. So there's been a lot of buzz about this industry initiative called One API. Tell us more about that. Yeah, there has been. But let me first kind of talk a little bit about what the motivation is and what customer problems yeah. we're trying to solve. Um, right now, it's really exciting time in computing where there's just so many different workloads that people want to accelerate. Yeah. Could be around doing climate modeling or autonomous vehicles or improving a manufacturing line. There's a lot of data. There's a lot of need for compute. And one of the key things, though, is there's needs for different architectures to handle that type of compute. Sometimes you need a scalar architecture, which is often like a CPU is able to deliver that. Sometimes a vector architecture that a GPU, a matrix architecture that can handle matrix uh, information like an AI accelerator, mm -hmm. or a spatial architecture like an FPGA. And from Intel's perspective, we really need to provide all those options to our customers because one size just does not fit all those needs. But the problem is, if you have all those from a software development standpoint, how do you develop on them? Right. You don't want to have to worry about understanding the architecture details. You want to simplify that. How can you unify that? And that's what one API is. It's really providing the layer of software that can deliver a unified programming model with a language and a set of libraries. And we're going to deliver that with both an industry specification that's open, that others can contribute to it and also implement on their architectures, as well as an Intel product that really can deliver the best possible performance across Intel's breadth of architectures. Okay. So that, in a nutshell, that's One API. Yeah, this makes sense. Um, you've been out talking with industry leaders about this One API initiative. What feedback are you hearing from them and what are they most excited about? Well, one, they realize that this is a universal problem about this breadth of different architectures, not only from what Intel delivers, but also other vendors mm -hmm. in terms of how they're delivering their, uh, their solutions. So they see the need, and they see that this is going to really simplify their development, which is, which is great. So I think we're, we're really addressing a, a customer problem, a common customer problem. They also really like the fact that it's an open solution that's based on industry standards so that they're not locked into a particular vendor. Mm -hmm. Nobody really likes to be locked in. People want choice, right. and that's what One API is helping them with. That's some of the good stuff. What are some yeah. of the challenges that you're experiencing? Yeah, some of the challenge or skepticism that we see when we have the conversations is, can we really deliver it? Right. You know, it sounds too good to be true. Can you really just uh, support all these architectures with a common uh, programming model? Um, luckily, we've been doing this for a while actually. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily under the One API name, but with some other products that have been more focused in different domains. One is what we call OpenVINO, mm -hmm. which is really a focused product for uh, deep learning inference that supports, with a unified API, our CPU, our integrated graphics, our FPGAs, vision processing units, and other architectures that we have. That allows for, again, reuse of code across those architectures, while also delivering high levels of performance. Mm -hmm. So that, that has given us a lot of confidence that we can deliver this type of um, strategy across a broad a breadth of architectures. And what we're doing with One API is expanding that in terms of different domains for rendering, for HPC, for deep learning framework developers, all those will be providing capabilities as part of One API. So that was one area that we, we continually need to um, you know, educate people about. Mm -hmm. It is possible that we can do that. And then we're also going to need to just deliver performance and the usability that everybody demands from us. But we've been making great progress as we, as we work towards the beta release that we recently did um, that shows that we, we're really on, on track to, to make that happen. So as industry leaders and innovators adopt One API, what are you hoping that they bring to the table? Well, first, um, we really hope that they're able to, to leverage it to deliver these new workloads that might not have been possible if they had to spend a lot of time optimizing for different architectures. Mm -hmm. Two, because we are wanting community contribution to it, we want them to help us evolve it, make it better. It's not just an Intel solution, but we really are making this available for the entire industry. Mm -hmm. So we want that input, we want feedback. How do we improve it? How do we make sure that it addresses their needs? And we'll be iterating with them over time to, to really deliver on that. And what would you say specifically to developers about One API? Yeah, well first, it's real. It's not just PowerPoint. <laughs> uh, sorry to break it to you. Um, we have delivered the beta. 
Um, it is available for anybody to download, to use, um, again, to give us that early feedback. We'll be utilizing that to e evolve the product for our gold release in 2020. Great. And, um, and then we just really expect this to continue. We have a very large team within Intel working on this, and we're going to be putting a lot of energy, and we want their support and, uh, and feedback to make it even better. Great. Well, it's a very exciting time, Jeff. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. uh, for more information, you can visit the One API website or Intel Developer Zone. I'm Lindsay Michelet with Tech Decoded. We'll see you next time. Hey, everybody. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't seen our other videos on the Intel Software YouTube channel, remember to subscribe and don't forget to leave us a little comment. Tell us what other material you'd like to see and chat with other enthusiasts who watch our shows.